All right, all right, welcome back. Today turns into this adventure is the Unreal 5 modeling tools. And there is one in particular that I want to showcase because I think it's going to be so useful for, you know, rapid prototyping, white boxing, um, proxy creation. It's going to be so, so useful that I want to showcase it to you and see, and, you know, and see what your reaction to it is, all right? So um, in Real 5, if you want to change modes, you come to this little window here. This is where now the landscape foliage and, you know, brush editing um, modes are, all right? If you want to get access to them, it's right here, and it has a shortcut. So, for example, the modeling tools is Shift-5, so at any point you can hit shift five and you are going to be in the modeling mode or shift one and you are going to be in the place or it is called yeah the, the place mode right so let's jump back to the modeling tool by selecting it by clicking right here and you know this is an ever growing um set of tools to create geometry and to edit geometry but Today, I want to show you this cube grid tool. And as you see, I have uh, this, you know, a uh, blueprint of the plant of a building. And I want to show you what you can use, you know, this cube grid for. So for now, let's just, you know, create a fast um, geometry here and show you what it does. So if you click right here, what it says, cube grid, you're going to have exactly that, a grid on which you can select, all right? And if you hit E, you're going to create cube. If you hit Q, you're going to remove cube. So it's that easy. You know, this is the Minecraft experience of, you know, tools. It's like you can create things very, very fast with this tool, all right? So, once, you know, you are done with it, you can, you know, keep creating uh, geometry with it. And when you are happy and, you know, this is what you want out of this tool, um, you simply hit complete. Once you hit complete, this is going to become what is called a static mesh, right? And it's going to be saved. As you see here, there is like a new asset location and right now it is on whatever you have your map. In this case, I'm on the main map. And this is where it's this generated folder is going to be created with your name in it. And then you're going to have your newly created um, static mesh in it. Okay. So um, once it's done and ready, you can continue editing it with, you know, all the other poly model tools that you have at your disposal. But the cool thing is that you can, I guess if you don't move it around or, you know, get it out, out or in inside your level as an actor, I haven't tested that yet, but if it is right there where you left it, you can simply select it and reactivate the uh, cube grid tool. And believe it or not, you can continue editing your shape, all right? And this is amazing because now you can, you know, continue creating your thing. So let me show you a couple of things more about this tool. And one thing is that for some reason, there is like this grid around this thing and I hate it so much. <laughs> um, I want to be free, you know, where I want to select, I don't want this thing to happen. So if you want to remove this behavior, it's very easy. You need to do two things. One is hide unrelated geometry. Uh, hit unrelated geometry, turn that off, and that is going to allow you to... I don't know if if by any reason I have something hiding here that is causing a, a collision. So if you want only this thing to collide with um, the shape that you are working with, this is turned on by default, I don't know why it should be off, all right? Another very cool thing is that you, at, at any point you can modify the side of this geometry, that um, the side of this grid, 
by clicking Control Q and E. So now you can create like a more defined shape with it, as you see. And now I can select this and do this, and then I can select this and do that. So this is fast prototyping at is at, at its best, right? You can create geometry very, very fast with this, um, you know, in this way. And you know, you can do Boolean operations also pretty, pretty fast, as you see. And all right, once you are done, you can hit complete. And now, you know, the new um, static mesh is going to be replaced right here with all your new additions. So isn't that great or what? All right. So allow me to show you how you can use this for rapid prototyping with this um, planned blueprint right here. So I'm going to reactivate the cube grid and I'm going to set these to, uh, you know, um, sensible size. And now I can start, you know, um, it, you can even, you know, click here and then I can go to the end of this wall and shift click here and then E to create geometry. And I can continue doing the same thing. I can, you know, select this too, E, I don't know if this is going to be too tall. That's why we have our MetaHuman right here. N nice thing about you know this tool is that, for example, I can complete and with this with the uh, modeling tools um, selected, you know the modeling mode, you can still place and grab stuff around and move it. So you can see, all right, yeah, it may need a little bit more height, but I guess. For now, it, it's good, all right? Now I can continue, I can select my geometry and I can go back to my geometry cube and I can continue, you know, doing my, my wall work. So from here to here, I guess is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to test this theory by doing this very fast. Click, 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 click. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, I need it to be a little bit taller, so. Now it is the size. So again, click here, come here, click there, E, 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 E. That's it. And you can continue doing this thing. Very fast prototyping your shape like this. And the cool thing is, as you see, it is reacting to light as we are working. And that is magnificent because now, as for example, as an architect, you could start in this early stage to worry about, you know, your light. All right. You could, you know, take your sky, uh, um, I mean, your sunlight, and I'm not even dropping the tool. Uh, I have the tool. You know, active right now, and I can start, you know, moving my north of my light. I can say, well, yeah, this is how, you know, the light should enter this particular room. And, you know, uh, there's going to be a flat screen here. So there is no window here, but maybe I can do a little window right here and I can grab this and do this maybe, right? And I can continue, you know, maybe trying with the interior walls like this and e, 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 e. And as you see, all the light is being cast, all the uh, uh, global illumination light is also being, you know, drawn upon. So uh, you can start doing light um, studies on your very early prototyping of this thing. You know, it might not be, um, it might not be perfect in, you know, dimensions or, you know, however you want this to be. But the cool thing is that it's going to be very easy to modify, iterate and create, you know, new shapes and having, you know, happy accidents. That is what this, um, tool is for. 
So let me show you one nice trick about this. So this may be like a half wall. So I'm going to leave it there. But now we have this. Oh, this is the bane of the cube thing of the Minecraft. It is the angle. So let me show you how you can do these angles. If I remember correctly. So I'm going to test it here so you know how it works. So if you get, for example, this cube, right? And I'm going to make it this big. Now you, you have access to what is called the corner mode. And as soon as I turn it on, it's going to turn on this corner. And this is my selection, right? So now I can grab this and this, and now I can hit E. Uh, and, I mean Q, and you can create also angle, angles with this thing. All right, this is so, so powerful. and <laughs> I, I can't believe it. So then you hit done and it's going to be good, right? But all right, let me delete this. So I'm going to do that exact thing here, right? From here to here, maybe. And I'm going to hit Q. And once that is done, I know that I need this to be an angle. So I need to select all this and I'm going to go to corner mode, I'm going to grab this corner right here and I'm going to hit Q until it, it gets here and I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to hit done and I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to select this, go to corner mode, select this and that and hit Q. And that is how you create angles with this thing. I mean, is, isn't this cool or what? All right. And all right. So the tier here, E, E. And I'm guessing that's it. You know, very, very fast. I could create, you know, um, wonderful, you know, fast previsualization of this space. I don't know what you guys opinion is, but I love it. I love it. This thing is, you know, so fast to iterate. And now I can grab maybe this plane and all right, I'm going to hit complete because I want this to be preserved and I can, you know, duplicate this thing and use it as a ceiling and I can come inside. All right. I need to do this, make it 180. So now I should have true global illumination inside my space. And I can start, you know, um, maybe I should close this volume. This thing is, is nonsense. But as you see, yeah, this is a very, very nice addition to the tools. I love it. And you can start, you know, prototyping your spaces. You can save this thing, right click, export it as an FBX and that you can give to a modeler who is going to take it to the next level. And, you know, the rest of all these tools are available for these shapes. So you can start creating, you know, the UVs, you can start creating, you know, um, um, the polygroups to refine better, you know, um, and assigning materials to those polygroups. So yeah, that was what I wanted to showcase you today. And I hope you like it and, you know, be good. Love you all. Bye-bye.